an item that I have been looking for since I I'm pretty sure 2019 and here it is oh my goodness i cannot wait if you're into luxury and fashion i would love for you to subscribe to my channel and uh yeah let's just get into it it is one of my wishlist items so let me know down in the comments what you think i got um it is sort of like a bag i suppose because that's what i'm gonna use it for that's the top of the box and there's a little booklet. It smells so good already. Oop, the chain is showing to reveal. Oh my gosh, I've been tracking this item for so long. The small vanity case. This one is extra special because it does have, for the very first time, a top handle. And this is from the most current collection, 21A. Typically, Mitsuya Dao is always one of my favorite collections of the entire year. It just has that really nice vibe. And if you haven't seen my most recent video where I go into more details about the entire collection, I will link it up here. The current collection of this vanity case is in lambskin only, but it does come in so many different colors. And like I said, this is the very first time that they did a top handle attached to it which is amazing i actually really really love the fact that it has a top handle i find it so much nicer than their old version which of course i still like the old version but i was never able to get it buttery soft and it smells really really good the cc also is a little bit bigger in this collection and this is the top age gold hardware which is very very stunning it goes so well with the lambskin which gives it a more of a vintage vibe fabric lining with three credit card slots i love the fact that it still has the old system even though i don't mind the new uh, chip system i was told by maybe a couple of you that chanel is not actually doing the microchip thing they're just doing the plate with serial code so they're eliminating authenticity cards for their bags going forward uh, since this collection but for their small leather goods um i guess they're not or maybe they haven't started yet i'm not sure now before we get into the comparison and what fits in this little vanity portion i do want to thank samorga for sponsoring this part of the video i have right here their organizer for the vanity case that's how it would look like with the organizer inside so i do have the iphone 10s max but do keep in mind that my case is paper thin it's paper thin as you can see i have my six keys right there hand sanitizer right here which is standing up i have my card holder from chanel and i have my card keys standing up and then of course the phone smack in the middle and it does fit the side of the the bag right here is bulging out ever so slightly because the phone is literally a tad wider than the interior dimensions even though the bag is very structured around the corners which is why you wouldn't be able to put it at the edge you can still kind of push it in right in the middle because it is the leather part which is a more flexible part so if you're okay with that this is how it would look like with your phone push right down in the middle it doesn't bulge too bad or anything but just know that you have to push it down a slightly bit so i'll do a quick comparison of the vanity case with the two chanel minis that i own and i'm sure you're noticing the pearl strap which is also from samorga i already own their older versions of their pearl strap which has the clasp and this one is different this one is the t-bar so you can insert on any of your minis and make it into a top handle mini their hardware is always either gold plated i believe it's 24 karat plated or in the case of the silver it's nickel plated so it's also a uh, very hard wearing and prevents from uh, tarnishing easily so i will link these straps down below for you to check it out they are amazing in my opinion they are great additions to their line of already amazing accessories i'm measuring 16 centimeters across and also eight centimeters in the width the height is about 10 centimeters so here's a very clear 
visual of the two differences. It looks like the same length as the Square Mini, but the Square Mini actually is a bit wider. So obviously my phone fits a lot more easier on this bag. You don't have to push out any leather just because the width of the fold is a bit wider. So you might be wondering, since it fits the same exact amount, just a little bit different configuration, isn't this a lot better deal? I guess so, price-wise it is. But functionality-wise, this is still much more practical because the phone fits a lot more readily. This one is a zipper closure which can be fussy getting in and out. The clear winner is the rectangular mini because everything fits, nothing bulging, nothing pushing out of the leather. Like I said, it won't replace your square or your rectangular minis in my opinion, um, but if you're loving a novelty piece and you don't mind the zippers and you don't mind the lambskin, as an evening bag I feel like I won't reach in and out of it too too much unless I have to. And especially if you're with guests or friends, it's kind of rude to always reach into your phone and looking at your phone, right? I will link all of these accessories that I mentioned in the description. If you're interested, definitely check it out and use my coupon code because you can save 20%, so why not? Thank you all so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you back, especially if you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys again very soon.